Ain't nothing more better than a cold glass of iced tea in a mason jar. You don't get no Corona than this. <laughs> What's up, hood folks? This is Jeremy and Rashad. So today is Sunday, 16th of March. Today is another day that the coronavirus is going around, terrorizing crazy people. Got them in the store, buying up all the stuff. Is y'all tired of the coronas? <coughs> I am. <clears throat> I am tired of the Coronas. So check this out, y'all. I ain't gonna hold y'all long too long today. Don't y'all hate when the pastor say, wait, don't you get excited when the pastor said that I won't be long today. And then his ass go preach a whole hour and 30 minutes. He's like, man, dude, wrap it up, bro. We got things to do. And then, you know, he be preaching, he be dozing on. As I close, oh, as I close, hallelujah. He finna close and he cut it off. And one more thing about the church and then we finna get in the video. Have y'all noticed church has not been good anymore since they stopped doing this? All right, say it again. I got a feeling everything's gonna be all right. Y'all tell me I'm lying. Church ain't been good since the choir stopped marching in. Oh, and the same. Go marching in. Then we march in no more. They don't even march in no more. They ain't saving souls no more. These new saints, they ain't like the old saints. So you wonder. Um, let me stop. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, enough of that rigmarole. I hope y'all enjoyed the live last night. We had fun. I didn't expect to go three hours. Today for dinner, I'm making a good old stick to your gut meal. Anti-corona meal. Turkey meatloaf. Garlic. Wait. Turkey meatloaf, Parmesan, <laughs> mashed potatoes, and green beans. That's it. So come on down here. So we starting off. We had to go to a lot of stores. All the stores sold out of everything. But we managed to get some Kroger ground turkey that was on sale. And so <clears throat> this is how we're going to make this meatloaf. This is a hood meatloaf. Make your meatloaf how you make your meatloaf. I'm starting off with, this is, what is this? Pound. A pound of meatloaf, but I wanted to see what the number was, 80 20? It looked like probably 73. Oh, 93, 17, so this, this kind of, th yeah, this is kind of lean. All right, this is two third cups of crumb. This is actually crackers that I grind up myself. Look at them crackers, they look good. Wait for crackers. All right. And to that, I want to add also, when I first tried this, I was like, no, nah, this ain't going to be right. But y'all, trust me, two-third cups of milk. I was like, milk? This going to be dry and nasty. Two-third cups of milk. All right. Now, I have been slipping on my oil. I don't eat beef much no more, like I told y'all. And I love my beef bouillon. Now, with beef bouillon, it has 790 grams, milligrams of sodium. So you don't really need to use much salt in this if you're gonna use this beef bouillon. So I'm only using one tablespoon of beef oil. A little bit more. A little bit. Okay. One tablespoon and one teaspoon <laughs> of beef bouillon. Like I said, that's to get that illusion that it's beef. I'm doing about a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm doing a little bit of parsley, just for color, probably about a teaspoon of parsley. And I'm adding about another teaspoon of garlic powder. It's about, gar about a teaspoon of garlic powder. And just a couple of dashes of basil. A couple of dashes of basil. And then I'm adding, then I'm adding uh, a table, a teaspoon. No, not a teaspoon. I have a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Oh, that looks like somebody last night. Oh. <laughs> and since the BB on has salt, I'm just gonna use like a couple of sprinkles of salt. What kind of salt? 
This is light salt. It ain't real salt, it's like regular salt. <laughs> All right, I got one egg bean. <laughs> and I caramelized. That don't look good. I bet they be good on burger. I caramelized a half of a large onion. Look at that now. A half of a large onion and some olive oil. And I'm gonna pour it in there too. And most people use their hands, but y'all, uh-uh. I don't like how I don't like how that meat feel. Between my hand, real mushy. I can't do nothing with it. So you just go mix your meat and incorporate your egg, onions, and seasonings all together. Now you don't want to overwork your meat. You want to work it good. I'm gonna say the hands will be better. I'm gonna tell you that much. But you don't want to overwork your meat. And that meat looking real super. Like pot of meat. You want someone cracking? Hell no. Now this meatloaf look real runny because I like my meatloaf to be moist and juice inside. I can't stand no hard, dry ass meatloaf. Alright. So I'm gonna cook my meatloaf in my cast iron skillet. I don't know why people tell folks that fall is non-stick. Fall sticks to everything. I don't know why. Nobody be cheap or good fall. But I would have used my parchment paper, but I ran out of there. You know people that still bought out all the parchment paper. What the hell are the coronas and parchment paper gonna do together? Other than keeps, I guess, I guess the parchment paper gonna keep the corona from sticking to your food. <laughs> anyway, I got a little non tip cooking spray. And a cast iron skillet is like a good game. It's very versatile. <laughs> Let me stop. Oh, so you can say, you take your uh, meatloaf <laughs> and Pour it in there like that. That, dude, that looks real disgusting. But it's gonna be good as hell when it comes down. You just shape it into a meatloaf. Shape it into a loaf. Like that. Now I got my oven set on 375, and this is gonna go for about 45 to 50 minutes. That look good, now, don't it? Yeah, do. Anyway, like I said, we're gonna do this on 375 for 45 minutes. Now, I also got my potatoes down here, man. I got my potatoes boiling. Y'all know how I made my potatoes last time, but I'm gonna show y'all how I'm gonna make my Parmesan loaf. Well, they ain't gonna be loaded. Just Parmesan mashed potatoes. Cook, bastard. All right, here, folks. So here go my potatoes. Now. When it comes to mashed potatoes, you it's a, I can't really give you no definite recipe on how to make mashed potatoes, but I can just, everybody got different preference. I like my potatoes to be a little stiff, but if you like yours running, then you add more, fix it how you want to fix it. But I'm making Parmesan mashed potatoes. <clears throat> Starting off, instead of using milk, I'm using whipping cream. This is eight ounces, but I think I'm gonna use about three ounces of this. Stir it in. Right, let's add a, just a little bit more. All right, butter. I'm using about this is a tablespoon and a half of butter. Stir that in. One tablespoon. My last tablespoon too. Of sour cream. All right, when it comes to pepper, I like mine's kind of peppery, but not too peppery. So I don't know how much to tell you. This is how much I'm putting in pepper. About that much. I'm putting a little parsley in here to fool motherfuckers up to think you're doing something, but it's just for color. <laughs> and what make these Parmesan mashed potatoes is Parmesan cheese. Now I didn't get, no, they didn't have, you know they ain't have no damn fresh Parmesan Grind up, so I would say about a fourth a cup. These are this is six 
or uh, large but well, medium sized potatoes. This is six medium sized potatoes, so about that much Parmesan. If you notice, I didn't put any salt in yet because I want to taste it to make sure the Parmesan is not too salty. So when I put my salt in, mm, that smells good. So these are a little stiff. I need a little bit more whipping cream. It's almost a whole bottle. They don't just splash it everywhere. Damn. Know how to control it. Mm -hmm. Now let me give you a little sample. Come up here, man. This bottle not hold the camera. All right, let's do some more adjusting. <laughs> Get back down here. All right, you need a little bit more Parmesan cheese. Well, that's all my Parmesan cheese. I need, a, I guess, a whole bottle of this cream. Like I said, you make your mashed potato how you want to make them. Stir them in there. All right, and to that, I want to add let me get my mirror. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of salt. This is a whole tablespoon, but I'm not filling it all the way to the rim. Motherfuckers, I always try to say so. Anyway, this is about a teaspoon of salt. See, teaspoon of salt. Now, if it's too salty, I'm gonna be mad as hell. <laughs> I should have put it. Let me sample it again. Oh, yeah, you did like that. Right on the money. I want to. Oh, I'm, I said I make my cooking video kid friendly. So cooking videos are kid friendly, but I'm finna say some real vulgar. Man, what is you gonna do? Let me get a bite. <laughs> Not too bad. I tell you, if you know somebody who can assassinate some, let me stop. <laughs> All right, so here go my meatloaf. Ooh, look at it. Now, how do you like your meatloaf? Do you like it with brown gravy on the top, or do you like it with um ketchup? Ketchup. I like ketchup. So I'm gonna make a little ketchup roux. <laughs> About. Oh. <laughs> Dude, shut the fuck up. All right, so about that much ketchup. A little bit of mustard, not too much. Probably like a like squirt. That. All right, and I'm gonna do, about this is light brown sugar. So I'm gonna do about, shit. A ghetto tablespoon. A ghetto tablespoon is extra, damn it. And a half. I have a ghetto tablespoon. Stir it up. All right, box. A little over, well, about a teaspoon, tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Isn't it lovely? Look at this ketchup mix I'm making. Now I'm gonna taste it a little bit, make sure it ain't too mustardy. Hold on. Mm. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Down here. Now, how do, if you do put ketchup on your stuff, do you like a little bit or a lot? I like mine loaded. I mean loaded, smooth it out, get all the corners. That shit's fast. And scrape them corners. We ain't giving the man nothing for free. It's Corona season, and he ain't finna be eating good off of for free, right? Right. Because if we throw away extra stuff, that means we gotta go back to the store to buy more. And that means the man is getting more money. Not the day, Satan, the man. So I'm gonna put this back in the oven for 10 minutes, just to let it Thicken up some, and this meatloaf is gonna be finished. All right, here for so here go my meatloaf. Ten minutes later, I'm gonna let it sit here 
and finish chilling for a minute because you don't want to cut down into it. You want to let it sit here and rest for about 10 minutes. Then we're going to cut down in it, take a picture, and we're going to see how it tastes. Do it really taste good because it smells good, dog. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a pound, so I am thinking I'm going to do about four. You know when I was in school, people hated meatloaf. They cook meatloaf and lunch. Ugh, I don't want the meatloaf. Jeremy, I take your meatloaf. <laughs> you all to get that middle piece in there so you can show out. Look at that, look at that. Woo! Look at that. You know what? <laughs> look at that, it's hard for you to pull it out. How? I ain't got no room. Let's see if you stay out of troubles. Boom. Look at that. Boom. Uh, there's a hater on the line. Let me block this punk one more time. Let me get two of them. For my thumbnail. Look at that. Come, I didn't cut it deep enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're gonna blame it on that. It smell good. Look at that. I'm I'm gonna, no, it don't. It don't smell good. It yeah. smell great. Man, you be hating too much. I said it smell great. I'm gonna leave it like that. Look at the bottom. A crust. Yeah. I mean, damn, I gotta wash all of them. I'm so sick of washing dishes. Look at them mashed potatoes. Look at them mashed potatoes. Ooh, 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 look at them mashed potatoes. That's enough. My green beans. What do you mean, your green beans? I made them. I cooked them. Oh, yeah, he made these little tired egg green beans. Good. Taste I'm finna taste. I need to take my picture though. Let me get my press of tape. All right, here, folks. So we just seen this plate. Let's get down here. Let's get these. Well, I already had the mashed potato. Let me confirm the taste. Man, well, let me stop playing. Meatloaf. Look at that. Take the first bite. Take the first bite. I hate when people do that. Take everybody. Is it good? Man, this is seasoned so good, so well. It is so moist, tender, juicy, all the flavors. It's not too salty. It's perfect. It's perfect. And that beef bouillon gives that illusion that you're eating beef, but you still reminded of oh, this turkey. But this is better than beef. This is better than beef meatloaf. Then you take it and wrap around the mashed potato like that. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta make sure they stay up first. Mm -hmm. You gotta make sure they stay up on the ride. Now taste my green beans. Mmm. Mm. Mm. Green beans good too. Get you a man that cook this for you every day. A woman or somebody. And you're gonna be happy. This is good. This is on the top five best things I ever cooked on this channel. I'm this good. This, this. I ain't gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Mm. Come on, taste. I, Come on, taste. All right, here, folks. So now it's time for me to taste it. Uh, hold on, let me drink it. Man, stop drinking about my tea. That's good. Anyway, so I'm gonna taste my green beans first. Okay, just like I like them. These mashed potatoes. Get you some mashed potatoes in your life. All right, now let's get to the main course. Nigga, I cut down through that fork. Oh, just breaking apart. He ain't breaking apart. Now be honest with the hood folk now. We don't lie. Oh my God. Oh my God. Be honest. <laughs> Man, can you leave that gun alone? I just love it. She always make me crack up. I love her videos. Leave that gun anyway, alone. Anyway. You silly. You might want it. You want it. 
Mary and Rochelle want to date you. Hey, she attractive. I like I, a, I like a thick woman. But anyway, uh, yes, that is good as hell. Like this is best. This is the best meatloaf you ever made. Don't do it, bro. The other ones were good, but this is a, like ten times better for real. Because it's it's tender, it's juicy, it's not dried out. And the ketchup on the top give it an extra kick. Flavor. Uh, Here come the brand new flavor in your mouth. Brand new flavor in your mouth, man. Meatloaf flavor. I'm kicking that meatloaf flavor. Anyway, hood folks, mm. I'm happy. I'm finna go. Hey, man, stop eating now. Stop eating my steak. Stop eating my stuff. And the leftovers could be made for a sandwich over all this world for the rest of this week. Uh, we gotta find fucking bread to make a sandwich. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> This is this is mostly healthy. Turkey meat is healthy. Green meat is healthy. Even the mashed potatoes, y'all. The bag said they were fat free. I tell y'all about that on the vlog this week. And what else we got going on? We got a whole dessert to go with this meal. But you gotta watch the vlog Wednesday to figure out what it was. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope so. We'll see y'all next time. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. Eat, 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 eat. Mm -hmm. Wash your hands and wash your ass and you gonna be all right and pass the class. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace. Like, comment, subscribe. They know that. Like, comment, subscribe. Peace. <laughs>